Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Beat the Experts, brought to you by Falcone Moon Ford. Alongside Mike Byers, I'm Andrew Chiapese. Hey Jay, a couple of local football teams have clinched playoff spots. A few more can get in this week. We have 16 games involving local teams this week. Let's break them down. Yeah, we may have 16 games, Mike, but there is only one that is going to have the attention of most people here in the Times coverage area, and that, of course, is Aliquippa at Quaker Valley for first place in the Beaver Valley Conference. It's, I think it's been a while since we've had a regular season game late in the season that's had this, this much buzz. Some of the Aliquippa Beaver Falls games early in the season have had a lot of hype due to that rivalry between the two schools, but this is definitely a game to watch, and Aliquippa hasn't given up an offensive touchdown all season long. Quaker Valley is averaging 45.1 points per game among the best in the WPIL. It's the immovable object against the unstoppable force. It's going to be a great football game. I'm going to make two predictions. One, Aliquippa's streak of shutting out opposing offenses comes to an end, but Aliquippa's winning streak continues. The Quips get the win in a great game. Quaker Valley plays them tight. But Aliquip gets the win. Yeah, AJ, I agree. This game, uh, it's, a, it's a dream game. It really is. Both teams are undefeated. Uh, in, in essence, they're playing for first place in the Beaver Valley Conference. Um, you know, the Quaker Valley story is certainly fascinating with Isaiah McNair, uh, Ricky Gus, uh, just name a few of their uh, players who were having great years. And, of course, the Quips, or the Quips. Um, interesting sidebar to this game is, you know, both of these teams have at least one player that used to play at Ambridge. Uh, Tariq Jones from Alacupa, for example, and Isaiah McNair, Jordan Taylor from Quaker Valley. Um, you know, they, they left Ambridge a couple years ago. Now they're playing each, each other in this game for all the marbles Friday night. So it should be a great game. Uh, I agree with you. Quaker Valley's going to score. I think it's going to be a great football game. I just think the Quips have a little more experience in big games. I think they're going to pull it out. Big thing is that mentality of handling the big stage. Yes, Definitely sir. a huge component. Let's get to the rest of the schedule because some very interesting games this week. What about banged up West Allegheny against Hampton? I think they'll be okay. You know, they, they lost to Upper St. Clair last week, 21-20. Uh, uh, they have some injuries. They're going to get Will Weber back, I believe, I think this week, the running back linebacker. But also, you know, don't forget, Bob Palco goes for two points so often. He did it last year in the Whippy Old Championship game when they beat McKeesport. That loss to uh, Upper St. Clair could have been 21-21 had Bob decided to kick the extra point, but that's the way he is. Bob the uh, rambling gambler <laughs> up there. <laughs> what about uh, Moon against Woodland Hills in 5A? Very disappointed in Moon the last two weeks. They got blown out by Fox Chapel. They lost at previously winless Chartiers Valley. Um, Moon's kind of fading right now. What about Ambridge at Mars? You know, Ambridge is getting better but they lost to Blackhawk last week, 14-7. They're playing at Mars. Mars is a very good football team. Mars all the way. Speaking of Blackhawk, they take on Highlands this week. Do they get another win? You know what, AJ? In three home games this year, Blackhawk has scored 90 points. In three away games, they scored 14. <laughs> they're playing at home. I think they're an upset, mild upset over Highlands. Uh, down to Class 3A, how about Hopewell at Beaver? Hopewell needs a major miracle to get a win here. Uh, it might come this week. <laughs> uh, Central Valley at Beaver Falls. I said last week that Central Valley is the best 3-3 three three football team in the Whippeole. They are the best 4-3 and three football team in the Whippeole. They'll probably miss the playoffs, but they're a very good football team. Uh, Elwood City at Derry. Wow. You know what? Uh, I, I feel bad for Elwood City to make a, an hour and a half bus trip to Derry. Derry's a very good, good football team. They're a 6-1. They've blown out five straight opponent, opponents. Uh, Derry's going to win this game. Uh, New Brighton hosts South Allegheny this week. New, the Lions have come so close to seeming like they're a competitive team. Do they get a, a needed win this week? I think so. You know, they've been getting better and better, and that's, that's a sign of a, a good coaching staff and, and the effort of the players because they're only 1-6, but they are playing better. They're going to get their second one this week. One of the surprising teams in the MAC, Mohawk, taking on Freedom this week. How do the Bulldogs handle Mohawk? You know what, AJ? I think Freedom can get a playoff spot with the winner, get very, very close to getting in. Mohawk has won three straight. Uh, I like freedom in this game, but you know, both of these teams, these 2A teams, have wins over 3A Hopo. <laughs> uh, freedom, by the way, may have Zach Rosa back at quarterback this week as yes. well. Something to watch. Southside against Nishanik, what do you think? Uh, Nishanik all the way. Uh, yeah. Another huge game in the MAC, Riverside at North Catholic for first place. Should be a great football game. Um, you know, Cardinal World only has two losses this year, both in exhibition play to Central Valley, 
and the Quaker Valley. They're 5-0 and against AA teams. Should be a great game, but I think Riverside is just too good this year. I think Riverside has a chance to go all the way to the Whippewell Finals. And I think Riverside's defense is what's going to carry them. I think they're going to win this week as well. How about Cornell at Shenango? The Raiders nearly won last week. Yeah, again, give them credit for trying hard. The Raiders, they haven't won a game yet, but they're getting better. But playing on a road at Shenango, that's just too tough a task. Shenango will win this football game. Astute readers will notice in this week's Beat the Experts, I picked Cornell to win, so we'll see. Good for you. Uh, how does Rochester respond to their loss at California? You know what? Um, disappointing loss when they lost uh, Olsh last week, 16-13. California is 7-0 and scoring 57.3 points per game. The highest scoring team in the Whippewell, they're playing at home. I like Kell to win this game. I've got Rochester only because I don't believe in the Tri-County South just yet. Okay. Uh, Olsh at Union, who do you have? Um, kind of be a, a tough game for Olsh to go up there, but, uh, you know, they had a great win against Rochester, as I was saying, 16-13. They scored 16 points in the fourth quarter. Um, Olsh is the better football team, but they're playing on the road. They better watch out, but I think they're going to find a way to pull out a victory. Finally, Northgate at Western Beaver, another game with playoff implications. Uh, I cannot believe that Western Beaver lost to Stow Rocks last week. Again, Stow Rocks was an 0-6 football team, but I'm pretty sure the Golden Beavers will clinch a playoff spot with a win. They're playing Saturday at home, so Western Beaver wins and gets in. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Beat the Experts. You can keep track of all 16 of these games on timesonline.com. And join us at noon Wednesday and noon Thursday for the latest edition of Game On. So, for Mike Byers, I'm Andrew Chiapese. That does it for now. We'll see you soon.